Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Tony, and today we're building a castle base with everything you need for survival, including a fully decorated interior. So, before we start, let's talk about texturing. For the stone parts on our main tower, I'd recommend mixing in some andesite with the stone, and for all of the stone brick parts, I'd recommend mixing in cracked stone brick throughout, and mossy stone bricks towards the bottom. But all of this will be optional, so you can do it if you want to, or don't. It's up to you. Anyway, here's some materials that you'll need. And with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So the first step will be to build this layout on your world by placing stone bricks on top of all of the black and white blocks. And once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. So the first thing we're going to do here is build up this square tower on the right side. We'll start in the corner with our stone bricks and build it up an additional 15 blocks for a total of 16. Then we'll go over to this corner and do the same, 15 more blocks. And then in between the stone bricks we'll build up stone 10 blocks higher, so a total of 11. I'll just mark it out here and then we'll fill in the rest with stone. In the next level just place alternating stone blocks and upside down stone brick stairs. So we should have 3 stone brick stairs. On top of each stair place 2 iron bars for a window and then place two blocks of stone in between. And then these top two layers will just fill in with stone. Now we'll go around to this back corner and fill up this corner an additional 15 blocks with stone bricks for a total of 16. And this time we'll just fill it all the way up with stone. Now in the other back corner again we'll build up the stone brick corner an additional 15 blocks. And again, we're just going to fill it all in with stone. Now the final side that faces the inside of the house will be quite a bit different, so make sure you're paying attention. We're going to start by placing an additional 3 stone bricks on each side of this gap. Then place an upside down stone brick stair on each side. Then we can build up that stone brick and one block higher than the archway. Next place 3 spruce planks in the center. And then 2 stone bricks on each side. Now we're going to build the stone bricks on each side up to 4 blocks high. Then an upside down stone brick stair on each side, so this is the same arch we had below. Then just place another layer of stone bricks on top. On the next level just place 5 stone bricks in the center, and then we'll fill in the rest with stone. Alright, so now we'll start building in some floors for this tower. There won't be any stairs or anything to get to the second level from here, so just go up to the second level and then fill this in with spruce planks. And then to get up to the third level you can place a ladder in this corner, so just place six ladders, and then a trap door on top, and then place four more ladders, you'll just need a spruce plank there to place the fourth, and a trap door on top. Then we'll fill in this level with planks. And that's on the 6th block up, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Now for the top layer, we'll just place a square of spruce planks all the way around the top of the tower. Next we'll add some crenellations, so we'll place stone brick stairs alternating blocks on this front side, at the top of that stone, then place two full blocks on each one, and then an upside down stair in between. There will be nothing in the corners, and just go ahead and repeat this on all four sides. Next we're going to start working on this middle section here, and then this little tower in the corner. So to start, go into this 2 block wide entryway, and place 2 spruce planks here, and you can place your spruce doors on there. Place 2 spruce trap doors above the doors. And then we'll place 1 stone brick block on each side, and then a stair on each side. 2 upside down stairs, and then 2 slabs on top. Next we're going to start building up the stone bricks going around the door up an additional 4 blocks, so it's a total of 5. We'll just go around the door and then after that archway you go 2 more. 
skip two blocks and then place two more blocks of stone bricks going up to five. Then on the third block up of this window, place an upside down stair on each side, and then two more stone bricks on top. Next we'll go around to the back side, and we're going to fill this all up to five blocks tall, so an additional four. There's no windows or anything, so just fill it all in with solid stone bricks. Next on each of these blocks that stick out, place an additional stone brick block, and then place a stair on each one. Next we'll go around to the front side and build some crenellations. So start with an upside down stone brick stair every other block. Then place a full block on top of each stair. And then we'll place an upside down stair in between each full block. And finally just add a stone brick slab on top of each full block. Next we'll just head around to the back side and repeat these crenellations, starting from the edge right here. And also make sure to go around this corner. And now we'll go ahead and place in our floor of spruce planks. And it should be at the same level as the floor of that square tower. So we'll skip this circular tower and it's basically a 5x5 five five square with the corners missing. So just don't place any spruce planks there yet. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the circular tower in the corner. Start by going inside. And on each side here, place three stone brick walls. Then place a full block on top and an upside down stair leading into the center. So it forms an archway like this. Now we're going to build the tower up an additional 13 blocks with stone bricks for a total of 14. So go ahead and build the outside walls up, but don't do the inside walls just yet because they'll be a little bit different. Alright, so right here, build up four blocks on each side, leaving one block of space on each side. Then place an upside down stair at the top here. Replace these two stone bricks with planks. And after this archway, we're just going to build the rest up to that height of 14 blocks. Now go down to the bottom of the tower and we'll start building a staircase up. So start by building an oak log up the center and it'll be one block shorter than the stone bricks. Then go back down to the bottom, and right here start with a stair, and then an upside down stair and another stair. In the corner place a full block, and then an upside down stair with a stair, a full block in the corner, and then again an upside down stair with a stair, full block in the corner, and here we're going to place an upside down stair, a stair, and then another upside down stair with a stair instead of a full block. So this should get us up to the second floor. And from here we're going to increase the slope of the staircase. So start with the full block. Then we'll place an upside down stair with a stair. And then from here we're just going to keep going up with upside down stairs and stairs in this pattern. So once you get up to the height of that stone bricks, you can just place five spruce planks. Just leave a space so you can get up and down the stairs. Next we'll build some crenellations. So start on this front side and place an upside down stair on each side. Then place a full block on each side. A slab in the middle and another full block in the center. And then two more slabs on each side. In this corner we'll just place a slab with a full block and same on this corner. On the left side, place an upside down stair on each side and a slab in between. Three full blocks on top and then a slab on each side. And in this corner, again, a slab and a full block. On this side, we're just gonna skip that bottom layer, so just place three full blocks and then a slab on each side. In this corner, just place two full blocks instead of a slab. And then on this side, which is a side that faces in towards the center of the castle, we'll just go back to normal. 
And now I'm just going to fly around these crenellations in case you need to see anything again. Alright, so that's it for the circular tower. And next we're going to start building the walls and the gate for our courtyard. So make sure you have plenty of room in the front here, and we're going to start on the circular tower. Just build up three stone brick blocks. And then skip one and build up three more. And we'll just place columns every other block so you have a total of six columns. Then going the other direction, skip a block and place one more three block tall column. Place stone bricks in the ground. And then we'll place two stone brick walls with a slab on top in between each gap. Now right here where this wall ends we'll have a tower. It's basically a 4x4 square with the corners missing, and we'll build all these stone bricks up to 4 blocks tall. And once you get right here, just leave a 2 block tall gap for a door. And I'll go ahead and place a door in there right now. Next just place 4 stone brick walls in each corner. Then I'll go inside here and place planks for the floor. Then I'll place some ladders to get up. And on this level, place two full stone brick blocks on each wall. And then I'll take some stone brick stairs. And in between the full blocks, just place two stone brick stairs. Then on top of those stairs, we're going to place more stairs, but this time place each stair so it's facing towards the center of that wall. And we'll repeat this on all four sides. Then we'll place one more ladder with a trap door on top. And then three spruce planks for the second floor. Next we're going to build a little roof over this tower, so place a spruce fence in each side. Then we need a placeholder block on top of each fence. Then in between those placeholder blocks we'll just place two upside down spruce stairs like so and do this for all four sides. Now you can break those placeholder blocks and place a spruce slab in its place. Then on top we'll just place four spruce stairs but rotate 90 degrees each time you place the stair. And that's the roof for our tower. Now in between the two towers we're gonna have a gate. So place three stone brick blocks here, skip one and place three more. Then two stone brick walls with the slab on top. Now skip three blocks and repeat this wall section. Then in between on the third block up, place two upside down stairs. A slab in between, and then three more slabs on top. Then on the back side of here, we'll just place three stone brick blocks on each side and three slabs on the top. Now I'll take a spruce door, place one here, and then fill in the rest of this gap with trap doors. Alright, so now on the other side of the gate we'll repeat the same tower. So start with that 4x4 square with the corners missing and build it up 4 blocks tall. And don't forget to leave a gap for the door on the left side here. Then place 4 stone brick walls in each corner. And let's place a door in there right now. Replace the floor with planks. Then we'll place ladders going up on the left side. Up here, place two stone brick blocks on top of each wall. Then two stone brick stairs on each side. And then at the very top, we'll place stone brick stairs but facing towards the center of the wall. Alright, so next place one more ladder with a trap door on top, and then three planks. Then again we'll build the same roof so a fence in each corner. Then a placeholder block on top. And then place two upside down stairs in between each section. Next replace those placeholder blocks with our spruce slabs. And then we'll have four stairs in the center part and rotate 90 degrees with each stair place. Alright, so next we'll just finish up our wall. Start with your three block tall stone brick columns. 
Place two here and then turn 90 degrees, and just place your columns every other block until you get to this square tower. Then place stone brick in the ground. And then two stone brick walls in between each section with a slab on top. Alright, so that's basically it for all of our stone brick parts. Next we're just going to build the little wooden house that sits on top in between our two towers. So let's start next to the round tower and place 5 oak logs. Then skip 2 blocks and place 5 more. Then skip 4 blocks and place 5 more. And finally skip 2 more blocks and place 5 more oak logs. Next we'll place some sideways oak logs at the base. Then we'll place a little 2x2 two two on each side of stripped oak logs. And then 2 layers of sideways oak logs on each side. In the center section, place three stripped logs on each side. Then place two oak trap doors on each side. And then two upside down oak stairs. On the top, you can place some sideways oak logs. And that's it for the front side, and now on the back side, we'll start right here next to the square tower and place five oak logs. Skip one and place four. And we'll place four stripped oak logs here. Next, skip three blocks and place another four block tall oak log. Then skip one block and place another. Then skip three and place another. And skip one and place one more in the corner. This corner one will be five blocks tall. Next you can just take a sideways oak log all the way across here. In each of these three block wide sections, place your stripped oak logs. And just leave a three block tall, one block wide gap at the top center. Then place an upside down oak stair and two oak trap doors for the window. And just fill in those one block wide sections with stripped oak logs. On the side here we'll build up two stripped oak logs wide, up to four blocks tall. This one should be an oak log, and then we'll place sideways oak logs across the top. Then place three spruce planks, then two, and then one. On the front side, one block below the top, place spruce top slabs in line with those vertical logs. Then place two spruce trap doors in between on each side. Then we'll place three stairs and then a fourth stair that's facing the other direction. We'll do that on both sides. Then we'll place two upside down stairs. Then two trap doors in between and one on each upside down stair. And then two more slabs in the center here. Then after that we're just going to start going up with stairs for our roof. And place upside down stairs underneath. Once you get to the center, just place a line of full blocks, and then slabs on top. And on the back side, again, we'll place our spruce top slabs in line with those vertical logs. And then trap doors in between across the entire wall. Place one more trap door on the end here. And from here, we'll just go up with stairs and upside down stairs for the rest of the roof. Don't forget to place your upside down stairs on the outside here, and in the center just place one facing the wall. Alright, so that's it for that wooden building. And next I'm just going to add some patches of damage using cobblestone and cobblestone walls. And this part is a little bit random, so you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing. So around all these stone and stone brick parts, I'm going to add patches of cobblestone. And I'm also going to add some cobblestone walls in the center for some more depth. Basically, these patches of cobblestone might be just somewhere where the castle got hit by a cannonball, or maybe it just got weathered over time. Either way, I think adding these damaged areas just makes the castle look really nice and rustic. Also, one more thing before I stop talking for a bit. If you're doing the texturing, you may want to add some mossy cobblestone to your cobblestone, and you can also add some crackstone brick around the edges. Alright, so now I'm just going to go and place these cobblestone patches throughout the build, and I'll put it on a faster speed so you can watch it if you want to or skip ahead.
Alright, so that's all of our cobblestone in place. And if you did the texturing I mentioned at the beginning, then you should have something that looks like this. But if you didn't, that's totally fine. Anyway, next we're going to move on to the decorations, starting with the courtyard. So for our stables, we'll start with an oak log right here. And we'll place a total of four oak logs with two blocks in between each one. And then build them up an additional two blocks. And then going back through, we'll place four more oak logs, three blocks tall, in line with those other ones. On the front side, we'll place fence gates in between. And then place two fence gates where we have this door and cover up the rest with fences. Next, I'm going to place a line of spruce trap doors at the top of this third block. Then I'll place another line on top on the bottom of the fourth block up. Next, I'll place a line of slabs. Then here I'm going to go with a line of upside down stairs like so. And then in the center, I'll place two lines of slabs, one on the top and then one on the bottom of the next block. Place another line of slabs on top of these back logs. And then a line of upside down stairs. So that's it for our stables, I'll just fly around here so you can see. Next we're going to build a little farm in this corner, so start with the water in the ground. And it's in the corner by the round tower, I'm actually going to move it one block closer. Anyway, then you can just start hoeing some ground around it. Just make it a semi-circular shape, but it's natural, so it's not an exact shape. Next I'll just plant some seeds there. You can also use potatoes or carrots if you prefer. Next I'll make an animal pen using fences and fence gates. So I'm going to place a fence post in each corner, and one side will be three fence gates long and one will be one. I'm going to move this one block closer towards the edge. And next I'm going to build a well in the center here. So start with a 3x3 square that's hollow in the center using stone brick walls. So this should just be somewhere in between the gate and the front door of our castle. And you can also mix in some cobblestone walls which I'll do right now. On the ground here I'll place two upside down mossy stairs. And then waterlog each one so you have an infinite water source. Then I'll mix in some mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks around the base. Then place two fence posts on each side. And three trap doors across the top. Then I'm going to place a grindstone hanging from that and then three chains going into the water. Then in this corner I'm going to plant a tree. I'm using an azalea tree but you can also use an oak tree. At the base, I'll place some trap doors so it looks like it was planted in a pot. And then I'm going to take some additional leaves and I'm just going to make this tree a little bit bigger and rounder. Alright, so next to the stables here, I'm going to place some hay bales. And then over here next to the pig pen, I'll place some oak logs and extinguish campfires for firewood. And that looks about good for our decorations and next we'll start working on the floor. So I'm going to start with a path that's made out of a mixture of coarse dirt and granite. And I'll basically just have this path kind of trailing off around here and towards the farm and the animal pen. So for our paths, we'll have one leading from the gate to the front door, one leading to the farm and animal pen, and then one to the stables. So let's just place our coarse dirt in here first. And then I'll mix in some granite, and also leave some grass in the path, just to make it look more natural. So 
So I'll go around this well here and then towards the front door. And then I'll add some extra coarse dirt around the tree. And then again we'll have our path going to the stables. But the ground underneath the stables will be a little bit different so don't go into there just yet. Alright, so that's looking good for our paths. Now I can do the ground around this animal pen. That'll be a mixture of coarse dirt and podzel. So let's place the coarse dirt in there first. And then I'll mix in some podzel. And we'll do the same for the horse pen, a mixture of coarse dirt and podzel. So let's start with that coarse dirt. And then I'll add in the podzel. Alright, so that's looking good. Next I'm going to add a fence post with a lantern right here. And I'm going to add another lantern on this windowsill. And then a fence post with a lantern above the animal pen. On the front here I placed a fence post and a lantern but I later changed it to just torches. Then I'm going to extend the path out the front gate, again just using that granite and coarse dirt. And you can use granite slabs to get down these blocks. So I'm just going to make mine extend a little ways out here. And I'll stop mine somewhere around here. But you can keep going with your path as far as you want. Next I'm going to take some bone meal and just grow some tall grass and flowers around our courtyard. And then I'll add some oak leaves and sweet berry bushes around the edges. And I'm also going to add some of these leaves and berry bushes on the outside of the wall just around the base. And the final step for the courtyard is to add in your animals. So in the animal pen I'm just going to add two pigs. And then in the horse stables I'll add a couple of horses. And that is it for our courtyard and then we'll move on to the inside. By the way the Stubinator helped me build this interior so if you like the design then I'd strongly recommend checking out his channel and give him a sub. Anyway let's head inside here and on the left side I'm going to mark out a wall. So one block away from the door place a block and then on the other side place another. Then we'll just go all around here with those stone bricks and place an upside down stone brick stair on each side to mirror the archway that goes into the square tower. Next you can go ahead and break all of the grass on the ground and we'll start our floor with spruce planks. Place them under the archway on the left but don't go into that room yet and then we'll fill in everything to the right side. Next go over to the staircase here and place two spruce planks and then we'll fill in everything under the stairs. Now for this room, which will be the kitchen, we're going to use a checkerboard pattern of polished andesite and smooth stone. Alright, so to start our decorations, in this front room I'm going to make a bench using four stairs and two signs. Then I'm going to make a little carpet using brown carpet and brown wool. I'll mark out the shape first in brown carpet. Then I'll replace some of these blocks with brown wool so we have some depth.
And next I'll add a 2x2 painting on this wall. We'll just need some placeholder blocks to get the right size. Next I'll add two trapdoor beams going from front to back, one block away from each wall. Then I'll add a little chandelier sort of thing using four fences towards the back and some lanterns hanging from them. For this room in the square tower we'll have a storage room. So I'll start by placing a bunch of double chests three blocks high and one block away from each wall. Then on each side place three glowstone and three barrels. And I'll just place spruce slabs over the top. Next I'll place two smithing tables and two crafting tables. Two slabs in between, and then trap doors on top of the tables. In the center here I'll place two lanterns. Then on the side I'm going to add some shelves, so I'll place spruce slabs going all the way across. Then a couple of barrels and a chest. On top here I'll place a double chest, then a barrel and another chest, and then a flower pot. And on the other side let's place a couple of barrels and a couple of chests. Then I'll make another shelf using slabs. And on here I'll place two flower pots and a double chest in between. And again I'll add some trapdoor beams to the roof. So I have one going across, one block away from the wall, going this direction first, and also in this direction. And now we'll move on to the kitchen. Let's start by placing a bookshelf with a lectern on top and a book in there. Then we'll place three blast furnaces and three normal furnaces with six stone brick walls on top and then three stone brick blocks. On the ground here I'll place a grindstone and a double chest and then a spruce slab shelf above. Here we'll place two flower pots with a fern and a sapling and then a lantern in between. And above that we'll just place a smaller shelf using two slabs with some oak leaves on there. Here I'll place a crafting table with some candles on top. Then I'll make a trapdoor shelf with a flower pot and a wither skeleton skull. Under the window I'll make a table using slabs and then stairs for the chairs. Then I'll use spruce trap doors for some shutters. But first I'm just going to place an item frame here with a spyglass so you can spy on things. So for the shutters I'm just using trap doors. And you can make both sides closed if you want, but I'll leave one hanging open like this. And I'm actually going to move the trap doors onto the block above the stairs so we can place stuff on the table. So here I'll place a flower pot and then an empty item frame. Next let's go under the stairs here. And I'm going to place one barrel. And then a chest and a torch above it. And that's it for our first floor. Next we'll go up the stairs here. And I'll start by dividing off a room. So place stripped oak logs right here, place two, then an oak log, and then we'll leave a two block wide gap for a door. We'll place some spruce doors in there. Then we'll just build up these logs to the roof. And you can replace these stairs with the logs. Then we'll also build up some stripped oak logs above the doors. In this corner here I'll place some spruce stairs for another bench. Then I'll place a chest here and then two fences for our little railing for the stairs. I'll place a fence post with a lantern hanging from the roof. And I'm going to make this stair into a full block so that the fence connects. Right here I'll place a fence post with a pressure plate for a table. Then I'll make a little carpet using a checkerboard of light gray and gray carpets. Going into the next room which will be the bedroom. We'll start with two beds of any color you want. Then I'll place a barrel with a lantern on top. And again I'm going to make some shutters and if you want to you can just have them both closed like this. Or you can leave one open. So across from the bed I'll place a double chest. 
And then here I'll make a desk using two oak stairs and an oak slab. And an oak stair for the chair. And don't put these signs on here, that's a mistake. Next I'll place a flower pot on one side, an item frame in the center with a book and then a lantern. In this corner I'll make a little wardrobe. So start with two spruce doors. And then place three trap doors on each side. And two more trap doors on top of the doors. Go ahead and flip all of those. Then we'll place two armor stands and drop them down in there. And then two trap doors to cover it up. Now you can put some armor on there if you want, but I'll just leave them plain. Next I'll make a carpet using a checkerboard pattern of red carpet and white carpet. So that's it for the bedroom and next we'll move into this room with the square tower. And this will be our enchanting room. So let's start by placing some bookshelves in the corner. Just make sure you have 15 of them so you get a level 30 enchantment. Now I'll place the enchanting table there. Place a lantern here and then a grindstone with a double chest. A barrel in this corner. Then in this two block gap we'll place a crafting table and an ender chest. Then we'll make a trapdoor shelf and put some items on there. I'm going to place an amethyst crystal and a bell. Over here I'll place two barrels with a double chest. Then another trapdoor shelf and this time I'll put some brewing stands on it. On this side I'll place a two wide three tall bookshelf with an empty flower pot on top. Then I'll make a random carpet here using moss carpets. You can also use green or whatever color you prefer. Next I'll make some trapdoor beams on the roof, just one block away from each wall. And I'll place them going in both directions. Then in the center I'll place three fences with lanterns on each one. And next we'll move on to the next floor which will be our portal room. So here I'll start on the left side using two barrels and then a double chest. Then I'll place some armor stands on top of the barrels and you can place whatever armor you prefer. Next we'll build the portal itself so going onto the back wall and one block away place three obsidian in the ground. Then place four obsidian on each side and three more across the top so we've got a 3x3 three three portal. Then we're going to add a little wall of nether brick to kind of close off the portal. Just leave a two block wide gap so you can get in there. And I'm going to make this wall kind of run down and broken so I'm using fence posts and slabs. And I'm not going to explain every block so you can just kind of watch and see how I do it. Alright, so now that we got that wall in place, on the other side of the wall we'll add some nether blocks so it looks like the nether is creeping through the portal. I'll start with some nether racks spilling out the side here. And you can also place some soul sand around with nether wart on it. In the back here I'll just fill this all up with our nether rack. And then up here I'm going to add a patch of glowstone. And then I'll make a tree using the crimson hyphae and some nether wart blocks. And that is looking good. Next we'll just go up to this top floor. And up here I'm going to make a cannon and some cannon balls. And this design is inspired by Average Tuna. He has a ton of awesome build tricks like this, so I'll leave a link to his channel so you can go check out his videos. Anyway, I'm going to place four oak trap doors for the wheels. And three slabs in between. Then I'll place four polished basalt, aiming in whichever direction you want it to. Then I'll place a polished deep slate wall in the back and a gray candle on top. And that's it for our cannon design. This isn't exactly copied from Average Tuna, but the cannonballs are. So again, check out his channel for more cool tricks like this. 
So I'm just using the cobbled deep slate stairs and slabs and full blocks and then surrounding it with trap doors for the barrels. And I'm just going to scatter a couple of barrels like this around. Then I'll use polished blackstone buttons for some more cannonballs on the ground. And finally I'll just add a couple of lanterns for light. Alright, so we're nearly done now. The last thing to do is that round tower. So I'll just go back through the house here. And then back to the bottom. I'm going to add some slit windows by replacing some of these full blocks with stairs. So I'll break out two blocks and place a stair and then an upside down stair. So now we have this little slit window that we can see out of or even shoot a bow out of. And I'll just add these periodically around the stairs. And as you can see, they're really convenient for shooting out of. If you're worried about people shooting in through these holes, then you can also add some spruce trap doors as shutters. Alright, so now that we're at the top here, I'll place a crafting table and a chest, a lantern on the crafting table, and then finally an item frame with a bow. And that is it for this build. I hope you enjoyed this video and had fun building it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I have a lot more cool builds that you might be interested in on my channel. Anyway, I hope to see you again soon.